Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Rob Barrington from BridgeLesson.com, and I have a quick hit for you from a hand that occurred in one of our Saturday games. Uh, you can play with us every week on BridgeBase if you're available on Saturdays at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All you will need to do is go to the address above, BridgeLesson.com slash play. That'll give you instructions on how to find the tournament. It's totally free, guys. You can play these hands with your partner with a robot or with a partner you might find at our partnership desk on Saturdays. So join the game. It's about an hour. We play 12 boards. And then I have a video that covers all 12 of the boards afterwards. And I will be posting some special ones right here on YouTube for you guys to take a peek at. This one happens to be pretty cool. It covers what happens after the opponents double our stamen bids. Right, so we're going to have a nice discussion with Unum Teba here, and I'll catch up with you on the other side of this, guys. But until then, enjoy the video, and I hope to see you sometime in our Saturday game on Bridge Base. Play the hands first. They'll mean a lot more for you afterwards when we're going over them. So I'll see you guys soon, either at the tables or in our classes at BridgeLesson.com, guys. Take care. So what are we looking at here? Well, here we started with our North player, which is our hand. This is the sexiest hand you're going to see all day. Uh, big hand starting with two clubs and then rebidding two no trump, which we have to talk about as a new starting point. And I think we saw this either last week or two weeks ago on a similar auctions where when we open two clubs and then start with two no trump on our rebid, it is just like restarting the auction like we opened two now. So stamen, transfers, all this good stuff is available. And here the South player bid stamen and our right hand opponent doubled. Now, let's talk about what this double is, especially on, on an auction at this level, and, you know, what we should be thinking as a good player here uh, sitting north. Well, to me and a, a lot of players, our first thing to do here is to sort of show or deny a club stopper. A partner needs to know if we have this situation under control. Um, and that's because so, West is just advertising that, hey, I have some tricks here and this is a good spot for us to crack open, you know, some some no Trump contract by the opponents here. Exactly. So uh, here, North does not have a club stopper, unfortunately. You have really bad club holding for what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, if Righty has the, you know, likely ace king something, 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 we're in a lot of trouble uh, on on this club lead that they've targeted already. Now, that being said, it could totally be right to just, like, advertise this as a stopper, but it's pretty normal to just, like, pass and say, I don't have anything here. And, and that is the line we're going to draw here. When they double stamen, pass is just going to be what we do when we don't have a stopper. Even if we have a four-card major, we don't respond to stamen necessarily right away. We, we pass. And this just says to partner, hey, I might have a response that you like, but I do not have a club stopper. Just to kind of give us the notion of whether we can play no trump from both sides of the table here. And now, on um, we're done with this hand. Let's jump over to partner and see what they were looking at on this hand. All right, Anum, so now we're, we're over to the south player, and it is their bid after partner passed the double of stamen. What do we want to know here? And what should we be thinking as far as how to proceed from this moment, knowing that it looks like we're not going to be able to stop clubs from either side? Yeah, I mean, this hand is like a, a roller coaster. Here you go thinking, well, maybe there's a slam to now, yeah. whoa, game is in danger. Like, um, this is not even a situation where maybe six no Trump is just out. All the slams in your mind should just be done because yeah. you're missing the ace king of clubs and they are cashing two rounds of club. <laughs> and There's no balanced, way around right? it. Right? Partner doesn't have a singleton club. Yeah. Right. So here now we're switching. We're switching from let's bid the best slam to let's figure out which game to play. And I don't know, let's actually let's get in a time machine here and, and head back to just the two no rebid. Give me one second here. So here we come back to where we've bid statement. We're thinking slam here, right? We're waiting for the response to whatever. If partner shows four hearts, okay. we'll make a slam try for, for hearts. And if not, honestly, we'll probably just bid six no Trump with a hand like this opposite. Yeah, I mean, the, the lower range of your partner's bid here is 22 high card points. Yeah. So you have the full 10. So we're already at 32 on a bad day. So, you know, slam is looking pretty snazzy. Exactly. And that, and that is exactly 
exactly where we are and we're, we're confident about it until this bit, right? Until the double and the pass. Now all is revealed as far as we're concerned. We certainly can't even maybe make three no Trump on an auction like this. Yeah, now Even like, though we have 32 points between both hands. Exactly. Craziness, right? Like, what are, what are we even trying to do here now? So, so we, I guess we hope partner has four hearts, right? Yeah, we hope to find some kind of other fit. Um, and how do we continue after double pass pass? You tell uh, us, to, Adam. to me, there are a few different treatments you can you can use, but just to keep it really simple and easy, all we want to do is redouble to restart the same in sequence here. Yep. And now we still right side our contracts if, if we're getting to the right spot and it goes redouble pass and partner in fact would be bidding three spades here and it comes pass back to you guys. Now let's give it to the audience for a second on them. Uh, what would you do in this situation? And if you remember that other hand, try to forget that you do make your call when partner bids three spades in response to your stamen. And let me just give us a quick look at our stamen bids. There are in fact two of them on this hand. Three clubs was our original stamen bid, right? That was us just saying, hey, partner, do you have a four card major? And partner said nothing initially because they doubled. They passed to deny their stopper. This is the second stamen bid. When we redouble, we are saying, okay, I, I hear you don't have a club stopper. I still need a, an answer to my question so we can determine where we're going. And for us, unfortunately, Adam, they, they denied four hearts and showed four spades or more. So, yeah, now it doesn't look like we have a fit, so to speak. Um, partner has denied hearts. Uh, they don't have a club stopper. And, you know, we don't have a second suit to bid. We can't just uh, bid our four card diamond suit. We yeah. can't um, bid hearts at the four level. So, like, what are our options here? We can't just bid three no Trump and hope that yeah. they're not going to find the right lead. Block that suit. So I think in these cases, your best bet is to find your next playable strain. And that might not be a fit. We are going to try and play our known seven card fit, possibly eight card fit. Yep. And just raise three spades to four spades, even though we don't have a fit. With well, the the couple of very good things we have going for us on the sand, we we talked about this a little bit before as well. On them, are we know we have thirty two points, right? So so we we definitely have lots of tricks that we can take. And take a look at this hand. We're going to be roughing clubs in the short hand, at least at trick three here. So I would be saying we're, we're a huge favorite to be making four spades and we're a massive dog to be making three no Trump in a spot like this. So yeah, just raising the four spades seems like it's our only good yeah. spot. To me, it's like a pretty much a green light that on this kind of auction, what's going to happen is they're going to cash two clubs and you're going to cash 11 tricks and spades yeah. barring a bad split. Right, right. And, and whatever, if we're getting that, this is the most unlucky hand ever. 32 points known initially, and we can't even play three now. And uh, I mean, you can even probably tolerate a 5-1 split uh, yeah, in just, the spade suit, because what you're going to do is draw two rounds or one round of Trump and force the long spade hand to take one rough before you draw all of their Trump. And you can still come to 10 tricks that way. So you know, you have lots of chances. And here, partner has a nice surprise for us. They have that fifth spade. So this massive hand, but just a wasted holding in clubs. And we end up finding an eight, actual eight card fit without knowing it from the South player's perspective, at least. Yeah, I mean, we just decided that we'd probably survive a seven card fit. And we finally have one happy surprise. Bonus. <laughs> fifth spade with partner. And this hand is just, as you can see, super easy. And honestly, take a spade away and put it in the diamond suit, right? Uh, the the other place it could likely be on on this and there you go you you just have a hand that is likely to make a lot of spades barring a really bad break so all was good here uh four spades made uh i will tell the audience that the robot did not uh did not play this agreement uh so we played six no trump doubled down four and on him went plus 1100 in our in our play of this hand so uh Nice My result only there, good Adam. board of the session. It was, I, 
uh, I definitely got to the wrong contract in this one. And that's basically because the robot didn't have any way to to kind of communicate their lack of stoppers. And now it's just a total guess as to what to do. I wish I knew more sports. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, subscribe and join us live in any of these events we have throughout the weeks. Tuesdays is our Imp Challenge. It's Anum Teba and myself against another world-class pro. Wednesday is a match point tournament with the robots with Gavin Wolpert and myself. And the Saturday game is where we all get to practice. If you guys are available, 1.30 p.m. on Bridge Base, you can join us for that game live and then watch the analysis from yours truly and some of my other pro friends usually for that game on Saturdays. So lots of ways to join, guys. Subscribe and get notified when our content goes out live. Take care, guys, and we will see you very soon.